clearing up after a party is never an enviable task. Clearing up after a party attended by more than 70,000 people in Europe's largest park must be a major headache. But by this morning, round day was almost back to normal. Work was well advanced on dismantling the stage. By Wednesday, it'll have been shipped to Germany for another date on Madonna's world tour. Leeds City Council will benefit to the tune of around £70,000 from Saturday's concert, a pound from every ticket sold. The money is ploughed back into improving facilities in the park. You must be getting fairly used to this kind of uh, clearing up operation. Well, we, uh, we've got better, I think, each time, and our staff have done a wonderful job, and the cleansing department have helped us tremendously uh, in doing this. Are you looking forward to the next one, or is that the wrong way Well, of saying? I think we've had two for this year, and I think that's quite sufficient. But um, hopefully there'll be one next year. And of course it gets the name of Round Day Park around the world, doesn't Certainly, it? Certainly, I think with Madonna's being the first in the, uh, on her tour, then it has really put Roundy Park on the map. Madonna mania brought the crowds out early on Saturday. Fans began queuing hours before the gates opened. Some had camped out overnight to be sure of a good view. What do you like about Madonna? Spread. She's fit. <laughs> She's fit. Yeah. What do you mean by that? She's fit. She's really typically American, like Ronald Reagan. She's over the top. <laughs> She's hilarious. You looking forward to it? Yeah. The promoters had been hoping for a capacity crowd of 80,000. Official estimates put the attendance at around 73,000. A bad day for the ticket touts, with 15 pound tickets exchanging hands for as little as two pounds. Not so disappointing though for the hot dog and hamburger salesman. A concert programme would set you back a fiver, a t-shirt nine pounds and a sweatshirt fifteen. Well, even Madonna admits she's a material girl. Security was the tightest it's ever been for a concert at Round Hay. Dozens of private security men plus 300 police. But bearing in mind the clashes between Madonna's minders and the press in the past, who was in overall control? We in fact brief the security organisations and have an overall control of the area. Because there has been some controversy over particularly Madonna's security being about well, I, to... I could assure you that we're in charge of all security arrangements here in, uh, in Leeds. In the event, police made 60 arrests, mainly for public order offences and drunkenness. It was five and a half hours after the gates opened that Madonna took the stage. The occasional Mexican wave helped pass the time. For those who weren't there, here's just a glimpse of what you missed. Madonna magic held fans spellbound for more than 90 minutes and reaffirmed Round Hay Park as a major concert venue in the north. For future attractions, as they say, watch this space. I'm really cold up here. I'm cold, you know, it's windy and it might rain. But, wait a second. I want you guys to keep me warm. I don't want you to keep each other warm. So, don't touch the person standing next to you, because I'm going to get really jealous. And tonight, Paul King and I have come up to Leeds to see whether Madonna herself, live, actually lives up to the material girl myth. Let's go! Well, Paul and I have finally made it through the 
most incredible security to the VIP room here at Round Day Park. And Madonna has just come on stage. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm excited too. Well, Paul and I are backstage at Round Hay Park and it all looks a bit ghastly to me. But there are 80,000 fans out there, they obviously don't think so. And there's at least 100 photographers behind me and they obviously don't think so. Are you right. a Madonna fan? Of course, and these gentlemen are the Madonna fan club back here. Wait to get... <laughs> I am, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, she's just amazing. I think the fact that she's done so much, like, changed image, changed songs, changed style, with so much style over four years, at the height that she's been, great. Do you think she's going to live up to expectation? I mean, the hype has been so enormous. Yeah, I think, yeah, they wouldn't dare her not to live up to the hype. It's gone so big, so I'm sure nobody's going to be disappointed. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So Dave, what happens to the photos? Pictures of, uh, are being wired back to London now, hopefully for the London editions of the News of the World, and then whatever's left over uh, will hopefully be used in the sun on Monday, and I'll try and go back in over the wall and sort of get something different for Monday's paper. I finally managed to drag the Daily Record's pop writer Billy Sloan out from the special enclosure. What did you think? Is she living up to your expectation? Yeah, I mean, I must confess, I wasn't a Madonna fan particularly before I came here. I mean, I wouldn't sit at home and listen to one of her records all the way through, but I'm very, very impressed, I have to say, yeah. Incredibly impressed. By what? What, what are you impressed by? I just think that there hasn't been anybody, any female in the pop business like her. I mean, if you take Tina Turner or Debbie Harry or even Annie Lennox, I don't think they're appealing to the same kind of market as she is. She seems to have everything. I mean, half the girls in the audience would like to have her sex appeal and her style and her look. Meanwhile, half the guys in the audience would like to sneak up to the master bedroom with her and lock the door and tell their mates about it the next morning. See you on the So that was Madonna. That was Madonna what? in concert and she was great. Did she, you think so, really? She was excellent, yeah, brilliant.